Hi guys, um, for those of you that have been following our story, you'll know that we recently purchased a new vehicle or a new to us vehicle for our journey. Um, we've been really happy with that choice, but unfortunately it has resulted in a little bit less storage space than our previous Ute had. So we've had to rejig our thinking and our storage solutions a little bit um, to make everything that we need fit. So one of the major things that happened was we could no longer fit our toilet in our vehicle. So we've had to move that into the camper trailer, which was actually a really good choice because it's in the camper trailer that we use it the most. Um, and we've now found a spot for it here next to our diesel heater. Fits in really nicely there. And fortunately there's a, actually a hatch that you can access uh, when the camper trailer is closed here. So we can then take the toilet out and empty it and things like that when we're in between um, campsites. Um, so just a little bit about our trailer. So we tend to store our, um, our clothes mainly at the end here, so they're nice and easily accessible. And when we open up the trailer, we just move the boxes down um, out of the way so that we're able to access the bed really, really easily. Um, so that's Ryan's clothes storage box, my clothes storage box. And then underneath, uh, Nathan's one just sits in there and we grab that out for easy access when we're stopped as well. Um, so when we first left, I got some really cheap Kmart sort of tubs and they did the job for, for most of our trip, but they were starting to really wear down and we had quite a lot of holes and cracks. So I recently purchased these great big grey ones um, from Bunnings and I really like them because they don't taper in, so they're fully square and they completely maximise the space. And they've got really great lids, so the lids don't take up any extra room. And you can just take the lids off like we've done with some of the tubs in here. So this is all of our major storage. Um, we've got a tub there for Ryan's toys, a tub there for Ryan's arts and crafts type things, some games and things like that. Like I said, that's Nathan's um, clothes tub. This is our odds and end tub, so our fans live under here, our toilet chemicals live under there, um, our wash bag lives under there, all sorts of things, fire lighters, um, shower, pegs, uh, laundry powder, all of that lives under there. At the back there, we've just got an odds and ends tub that's got spare shoes, hot water bottles, things we don't use that often, my makeup, which I hardly ever use. Um, and in the middle here is all of our spare linen, towels, toilet paper, uh, random odds and ends. There is actually a little bit of room over each wheel arch. So both of those spaces are things that we don't use very often. So I've got all my work clothes underneath that one. I've got some spare books, um, some spare bags and things under this one. And the battery for the trailer lives back there, so obviously we can't um, we can't use that little bit of space there. Um, but we're pretty happy with what we've got. We've managed to keep all the things that we felt was important in the move to the new vehicle, and we will do a video showing the back of the vehicle and showing what we've got in there as well um, in the not too distant future. So yeah, that's us.